Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just find? This thing won't survive out there in the wilderness for much longer. So I decided I'm gonna do a little rescue mission. Oh, we got Reggie in the car. After what was already a pretty epic day of fishing and exploring, I ended up trekking an extra two or three miles to the next pond. And on my way, that's when this all went down. I was not expecting it at all. But if you watch the video all the way until the end, you'll see that this is definitely what was meant to happen and something truly amazing came out of it. Guys, I just stumbled on something crazy. Is that, is that literally a lizard? What is this thing? So I'm in New Jersey. You right, buddy? I'm gonna let him be, but that is ridiculously cool to find this out here on the adventure. Actually, I'm gonna call up my buddy Will Robertson because I realized I need to figure out what this thing is and he will know. Because I was just gonna let the creature kind of stay there, not disturb him in his natural habitat. But this will be something to see what the expert has to say on. Thing's still right here. One thing I've learned from just getting out here in nature is that you never know what you're gonna find, what you're gonna see. The entire day I had fish catching on my mind, I was beelining it to the spot at this point. And on this walk, because it was so long, I kind of took a second just to appreciate what was around me. And that slight perspective change, I think is what led me to what you just saw in the video. Fishing is interesting because it's the one thing in my life that proves time and time again that absolutely anything is possible. And especially when I'm out here on these scents, it could be either that I can find whatever I'm looking for, whether that be a fish catch, whether that be something to take away from the day, or it could be something outside of my wildest imagination. And that's kind of what happened today. Either way, it's cool to see how powerful the nature is out here and how your mind can totally work with it. And the more you are immersed in your environment, the more you're gonna be able to take away from it. That's pretty much the gist. So it turns out that weird looking reptilian dragon creature that I found is actually a household pet according to Will Robertson Wildlife. I knew to give him a shout right away when I found the thing because he's the wildlife expert and he knows literally every species to exist. When I was out there in the wilderness I came across and I was like there is a 1% chance that I literally found something that nobody's ever seen before because it looked just that crazy. But either way this thing won't survive out there in the wilderness for much longer especially with the cold nights that we're having so I decided I'm gonna do a little rescue mission. I got this Lowe's box that is hyping everyone up. Never stop improving. That's a great motto to have. And I think I'm gonna take the box up on that and literally just make the most of this and try to rescue this thing. Let's go out there. Hopefully it's in the same spot where I left him. I think it should be because it's a household pet. Let's get on this one now. It's so cool I crossed paths with this bearded dragon out there on the adventure. And now I've realized that I can actually go back and sort of bring a full circle to that interaction. I'm gonna go back and now be able to save this guy. It's kind of cool, cause like, say I could have totally just walked right past him, had no idea, I could have seen him and not called Will and figured out that he actually wouldn't be surviving out there. So the entire part of the story is kind of just like what happens out here on the expeditions. You never know where it's gonna lead you, but. All right guys, we just got here, the box. Let's hope that this guy's in the same spot that he was in before. I don't have much time. He's somewhere down this trail pretty much when I was walking to the fishing spot. I just stumbled upon him and it was kind of crazy because I didn't know what the heck it was. I don't know if I'm going to keep him or if I'm going to call a pet store, but either way, we got to get him out of here because he's not going to make it. We've been getting some cold nights lately in like the 50s to 60s. I don't know if that's probably too cold for them to be honest. It's like He probably will kind of shut down and his body will start to go into shock if it gets below a certain temperature once i get him oh my gosh he's still right here thank god once i get this thing to safety i'll be able to figure out the facts on what to do with these guys look at him yeah he's he's totally good ready so we're just gonna figure out now how to get him into the box i uh, i think that if i kind of poke him with a stick he should walk a little bit hopefully he's okay come on bud He's very spiky. Maybe if I pick him up by the tail, I can kind of just plop him in the box, just like so. There we go. He's good. This guy's good. We rescued him. Almost. We almost rescued him. Look, what do you think his name is? Reginald? Oh, we got Reggie in the car. 
He's looking good. Woo! So far, part one of the rescue mission complete. Thank God. He was in a very similar spot. He barely moved from last time. That just goes to show that he wasn't doing good. If I didn't come and rescue him, I don't think he would have made the night. Definitely wouldn't have made the next week because he would not be able to get any food out here in the New Jersey wilderness. Trust me, the Jersey wilderness, like we kind of take it for granted because we live here, but it is not an easy place to survive. There are a lot of creatures out here. They'll completely murk them. Raccoons, foxes, coyotes, mountain lions, bears, snakes. He's got a lot of competition. So luckily Reggie is safe in the box. I guess for now, that's his name. If you guys have a better name for Reggie, then drop in the comments. We can always do a change of name form, submit it. But luckily for us, Reggie's safe. Whew, just like that, I've made it home. Let's, uh, let's go over to Reggie, see how he's doing. I think Reggie's a pretty good name for him. All right, he made the ride. Wow, he's looking a lot more lively here. He's looking a lot better than he was looking when I found him. You can see the cool coloration on him, a lot of spikes, so you gotta watch out when you touch him. But when he was out there, he was really cold and I think he was a little scared because that was not his natural habitat. Wow, this guy's so cool. Now I think Reggie's probably a little bit hungry, so I gotta figure out what to feed him, how to take care of a bearded dragon, maybe how to train a bearded dragon. Hey Reggie, what do you want for lunch? It's like, it's like lunchtime, it's, like, it's even past lunch, what do you want? So right now I'm gonna take my phone out and look up some facts about bearded dragons that I need to know. First, let's make sure that this thing is a bearded dragon. I do trust Will Robertson Wildlife, but let's look at the photo and compare it to Reggie. Look, that's Reggie's cousin right there. He's, he's a bearded dragon. All right, so step two. We've 100% confirmed there's a bearded dragon. And now, let's see, 10 facts about taking care of bearded dragons. I'm just gonna read them off to you guys. The internet is awesome for these things. So number one, they're friendly. So that's good to know. He didn't bite me yet, so I kind of assumed that. They need UV light, heat, and moisture. So he did not have any, he had a little bit of UV light, not much because it's cloudy today, and he needs heat. It's cold. I mean, yesterday it was like 80, 90 degrees, so he would've been happy, but today was probably his first really hard day because it's cloudy, and at night it's dropping into like the, the 50s or 40s. So it's definitely too cold for him. They can live a long time, 12 to 13 years is the lifespan. They feed as omnivores, so on plants and also insects. Ah, okay, so I have some veggies inside. So let's go inside and get him his first meal of the day. So let's open up the fridge, see what we got going. Hmm. Got some organic romaine lettuce. I think this is gonna be perfect for Reggie. That should be a nice meal for Reggie to start him off. He's pretty skinny. This is my two week update on Reggie. I was thinking about either bringing him to a pet store, like I said, or keeping him. I couldn't get myself to bring him to a pet store. So I took my 70 gallon fish tank and I decked it out for Reggie, all the climbing essentials, all of his needs. We got a UV lamp, we got a heat lamp. We're feeding him an assortment of veggies. He's definitely not the most active bearded dragon, but you can see he's kind of perking up to be back on the YouTube video. Like, I swear, I'm so grateful to have Reggie in the house now because, like, he's just, like, he's a dope, chill vibe. And, I mean, he's right next to my editing studio. So, it's literally amazing. And I'm so glad I was able to rescue Reggie. Shame on whoever put him out there in the woods and didn't give him another chance because this guy definitely deserved it. Oh, my God. Look at him. All right, Reggie, check us out, bro. I'd like to give one more shout out to Will Robertson Wildlife for inspiring me to go back out here because he first of all told me it was a bearded dragon it wouldn't survive out there and then he was like, yo, go out there and do a rescue mission and save this thing. Bring him somewhere better. You could bring him to the pet store. You could keep him as your own pet. And if it wasn't for him giving me that knowledge, I don't think I would have exactly gone back out to save Reggie. So thank you, Will. Go check out his channel. I'll link it in the description. And until next time, keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity of fishing and keep on sending no matter what, eat your veggies, and I'll see you in the next one.